13,300. Can you handle it? Do you still like to play Russell Westbrook on Wednesday night? Hello, welcome to our Wednesday, March 11th edition of our FanDuel NBA preview. I have 10 games on the docket. Chicago at Philadelphia, Sacramento, Charlotte, Memphis, Boston, Brooklyn, Miami, Orlando at Milwaukee, Clippers at OKC, Atlanta at Denver, Minnesota, Phoenix, Detroit, Golden State, Houston, Portland. Last night started so promising. It, uh, it really did. And then I came under a case of the blowout blues. Where did I, I, I was looking at this late and I, I was thinking, uh, wow, Reggie must have got hurt like early first quarter. No, he, he played. He played normal minutes and he wound up with a mere 3.9, heavy ownership, uh, 44% in uh, this particular case. That's about uh, one of several things, uh, several events that uh, went wrong. Uh, I nailed Rodney Stuckey along with many others. 54-7, uh, that might be uh, definitely a season high, maybe a career high. Um, with the late news on... Uh, Nicola, I decided to give him a shot, uh, I, and uh, here I got burned again, second night in a row, uh, going between him or Andre Drummond. That, that cost me 19 points. I don't regret making it, because uh, if it were the other way around, uh, if Fook went for 44 and Andre with 25 and Fook had the low ownership, uh, that's that's the way. Uh, I mean, go big and go home, or go home sometimes. So uh, that's what I did there. Uh, I mean, the blowout blues got me with uh, Orlando, Indiana. I don't know. Next thing I know it's thirty, and uh, here come the scrubs for the fourth quarter. Uh, Anthony Davis brought got an eye poke, so I had to cut short his night. That's a cautionary tale uh, for uh, Russell Westbrook. Uh, Tonight, um, you know, um, uh, possibly a Clippers team, not only without Blake Griffin, but without Chris Paul, 100% uh, percent. he did not do much um, in his last game. It has some ugly potential, and uh, uh, Westbrook could be out of there after three quarters. Uh, great work by... Um, uh, people who um, commented to me uh, suggested uh, what you think about cold, and I said, "Well, you know, here's fed um, 200 more if he could fit them in." And uh, I had one lineup I was considering starting both, just go cheap point guard, and I got cold feet on it, and. Look what he uh, Cole got 32 and Shved 47 and a half. For those in season leagues, I am already fearing Shved. Uh, I will be going into the second round of the playoffs next week in one of my leagues. And Knicks have a five-game lead. So if you're in weekly, uh, you might want to look at Shved off the waiver wire because you don't see uh, the five-game weeks too often. Uh, I had a league a few years back. It was uh, the lockout year, and I went 13 and 0 in the regular season. And then first week of the playoffs, one versus eight. Uh, I had um, I, get, I got nailed with the injury bug, and my opponent had uh, Isaiah Thomas. That was his rookie year with the Kings. So five games. That was when uh, I was the last pick of the draft. Uh, by midseason, he had. Uh, Supplanted their number one draft pick, uh, Jimmer for that, and uh, you know, all the Jimmer Jimmer Nation wasn't happy with it. But uh, you know, the cold truth of the matter was, I say, at Tom was just better. He he went off for five games, and he he eliminated me. I was one and done. Uh, 
LeBron, and he, he touched uh, the headband, you know, you see the receding headlock, hairline, um, uh, kind of, he's getting, he's getting to the second half of his career, you probably, uh, probably see him with a shaved hair, uh, head in a couple years, uh, and time marches on, and he, you know, he had a solid night, 49, you know, if he hit, went against the green with him, instead of Anthony Davis, uh, who had 65 to 70% ownership, and yeah, I, I needed, I needed Cowie Leonard not to do much, um, 61, 8%, when I saw him starting to rack up points, I knew I was dead right there, uh, 49, and Piston heavy as long as it didn't involve Jackson. Uh, uh, Piston's front line, uh, Monroe, Drummond, uh, they're both, you know, I, I kind of hate playing both of them. Same with uh, Gobert and Derek Favors. Derek Favors uh, flirted with the 50-point uh, uh, plateau as well. He, he's just consistent. Uh, you know, 35, 40, 45, you know, each um, had a little more value last night against the Knicks and uh, with Gordon Hayward uh, out. Uh, so, and another one I'll just um, throw at you. Um, great writer. Um, I owe my success in my season-long teams to um, Aaron Brisky over at uh, Roto World. Um, he had... Uh, Gobert, uh, he had Gobert and Draymond Green ranked high, like the top 70, top 80. So you go with those guys late, uh, late in drafts, and they, they've um, rewarded me handsomely. Uh, here is this Rodney Stuckey, Kyle Lowry. There's Leonard Schved. There's the Derek, uh, Derek Favors, Sep No Hayward help boost numbers. Drummond, 21 rebounds. There was Norris Cole, yep, stepped into Tyreek's usage nicely. There you have some of the other uh, big ones, and here, here are the, here are the bust, uh, Rondo, yeah, Rondo I've been staying away with. I think I had him a couple times early in the year when it was with Boston. Uh, I guess first shot last night, I know he's not a great shooter, but first shot wound up about uh, uh, three three feet short. He's not long for, for Dallas. Uh, and there's Reggie Jackson. Trey, I gave up on Trey Burke a long time ago, too. Um, So we um, look at uh, tonight. And, you know, uh, blow up blues, it just worries me. Uh, don't worry about the GTD. Uh, Cousins will be fine. Uh, Paul, I have a little. I got him on a couple season long teams to uh, worry that he's headed into a, a, a long term thing. So there are some of the others out there. What I uh, what I did is I went with a couple of. Um, I got nine different people. I got two lineups for you, nine different players for each. Um, I just thought I'd go by that. And here you, this proves you can get a decent lineup with uh, Westbrook in. Actually, more of a de decent lineup here. In this one, I just put uh, Westbrook. I threw in Marcus Smart. Uh, J.J. Reddick's been, uh, he's worth his weight in gold. Uh, uh, Austin Rivers, the coach's kid, he, he's the first coach's son, that can't be right, I, I've heard it's the first coach's son do play in uh, the uh, the uh, NBA. Oh, and by the way, I think uh, LeBron is headed towards, like I said, second half of his career, I think he's headed towards his uh, 
900th uh, career game come the weekend. You know, his uh, you know uh, his health's been good over the years. You know, uh, he he's been blessed uh, definitely. Um, I will go to Gerald Henderson Wiggins. I have Wiggins out in Phoenix. Uh, there is uh, a Westbrook Serge Ibaka combo planner. I love Noel. I just love and uh, Len came. Uh, you know he's had ankle issues. He had an okay in about twenty point night. Uh, Minnesota. He could be uh, decent there. This is my Westbrook free lineup, and I am anticipating fifty to sixty percent ownership of uh, Westbrook, and I just might go uh, without him. Uh, he, here I go with a uh, uh, Rubio and his uh, former Timberwolf from earlier in the year, Mo Williams, uh, Sacramento, Charlotte. That looks, you know, a couple of evenly matched teams. Uh, Harden, it's going to be uh, the second game on ESPN. Uh, be a hot, hotly, that's um, playoff. Uh, they, they went at it in the playoffs last year. I think Lillard ended the series with a three pointer. Uh, but anyway, uh, Harden is there. Uh, you know, along with uh, Anthony Davis, he's the second most explosive, the second highest. Uh, Scoring player in fantasy right now. Um, you have him, and you think maybe, uh, yeah, it would be Westbrook, Harden, uh, Anthony Davis. I put LeBron fourth, and then uh, you can um, put the likes of uh, Demarcus Cousins, Chris Paul, and a couple others below that. And, um, uh, Curry. Below that, that'd be the tier below that. Uh, Nicholas Batama, he's he's hot. He's hot right now. Uh, Crowder remains in the starting lineup, uh, so I got him here. Bass has had a couple huge games. Uh, Brooke Lopez, I'm left with 5,000. I have, and so I just threw John Henson in there. That's uh, That could go either way, but um, Orlando, that's a uh, favorable matchup. And then just for... Uh, uh, FanDuel released its first uh, baseball lineup. It's opening day. You roll with Kershaw opening day. And the rest, you can look at kind of weather. Good. Red Sox are in Philadelphia. Uh, whoever, I don't know who would uh, stand as a Philly staff face. Well, Cole Hamels, I would imagine. But uh, I would go with... Uh, 2200 for uh, Thomas. That's um, you know, the latest Cuban guy, so you know, grab him early. That's going to be Bumgarner, though. He'll be going against Bumgarner. And you'll find a couple other uh, cheapies who'll get in the lineup by. You know, I, I'll go with games in Houston, Arizona, what we call the weather protected games uh, early in the year, Milwaukee, uh, those type of things. So, no bonus baseball for you. So, there you have it. There's lineup number one. Lineup number two. I'll probably end up seeing what's behind curtain number three. Check back for updates uh, later in the day. Thanks for listening. Bye.